Hello guys, Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. Today we're going to be taking a look at shared opcodes again, but this time we're going to do it in a manner in which we do not have to compare. And basically this is an extension of that Shadow of War, I think it was about two vids back, on which we turned off the collision fields, and it's thanks to Stephen Chapman and to Callus also, uh, in regards that that vid came out in the first place, so I want to tip my hat to them too. But also, you can use this backtracing method to maybe separate whatever it is you're looking for on its own limb and not have to compare out. Now, this is a harder step, but sometimes you get those games where it's like just about everything's going through one code and it's hard to backtrace it a little bit and everything. But uh, this is possibly another method you could use if that be the case. You know, you're just having trouble finding a stable compare or something. Now, compares are definitely the route to take uh, when you go to do these things. That's the first thing you want to try. This is like a last resort type method. Okay, and that, that's what I recommend. But it is a valid method and it does work. And I'm going to show you when we go open up Far Cry 4. We're going to open that up. And what we're going to see, we're going to see the enemies and every type of stat value just about is going through one particular op code and that's uh, hero health and then you got breath, stamina when you run and you got breath underwater and they're all going through that same op code so we got three things that we want to separate out away from enemies and away from any other miscellaneous values and that's a lot of comparing out that's a lot to go through but this method is actually a little quicker because you just take the base roots of those addresses, the health, the breath, and the stamina, and you just do a break and trace on them and go back in the call structure. Eventually, you're going to come to their own separate limb. The health will be off on its own limb, the stamina will be off on its own limb, and the breath will be off on its own limb, and any miscellaneous values and enemies will be off on their own limbs. And that's what we're trying to get to, to where that specific address or value does not go through that call structure, doesn't get written to, and it's the same as having infinite. And that's what we're going to be taking a look today. Far Cry 4, we're going to do infinite health infinite stamina and infinite breath underwater and we're going to do that by separating them and going back in the call structure so stick around while I bring everything up okay so what I'm doing is I'm hiding in the brush now and I got my enemies can't see you code this is their sight cameras that I found earlier and sometimes we need to use cheats we've already found to help us find more cheats because uh, a lot of times these enemies will gang up on you and if they start off shooting at you at once or you just ain't got no prayer so uh, that's what we're going to do so what I want to do is when we don't know what the value is going to be we usually start with the float for health and go unknown initial value however here's another little method I use I'll go value between 100 and 2000 that way uh, a lot of the times about 80 percent of the time you're going to find it between these values right here um, being the full health value and if it isn't sometimes it starts at one and cycles all the way down to zero well if it isn't well you know when you do an unknown search it won't be anything between 100 and 2000 so that'll help out with the weeding out process too so works to our advantage both ways so let's do the first initial scan and let's go take some damage let him see us there he is All right, we took some damage. All right, let's heal up. Nope, we took some more damage. Hang on, let me get in the bush before I get killed. All right, we're down to half. Down a little bit below half now, so. Sorry, I kind of got discombobulated there for a second. That's even a word. Let's heal up again. Ah, we're going to die. Okay, we're back to half. We need to get out of here. We got too many people shooting at us again. Alright, let's see if we can heal up. Let's heal up again. I want to get it all the way back to full health so I don't miss it. Alright, so now we're back up to full health. And we're not being attacked, so we're going to go increase value. I'm using the hotkeys. But I set myself. Alright, let's... Go back and rinse, wash, and repeat. Make sure he doesn't get a headshot. 
Because if he does, we're screwed. Ah, right, come on. Alright, we are regenerating. So we're back up to full health. Hopefully we hadn't missed it. Ah, come on. Alright, let's go take some more damage. Alright, took some damage. Took some damage. Took some damage. Let's get get out of here. Alright, let's heal back up. We're down to 66, so we should find it fairly easy now. And it filled us all the way up. Let's go increased. And let's take a look and see what we got going on here. And right off the bat, we notice these 100s. They just look like Bible values. You can see all the others are still flipping around. So what we want to do is we want to find our internal code. So what we need to do is just try each one one at a time. Usually I say look for the oddballs. And as you can see here, the major oddball is that top one. The others have the same characters in them except for the very last which is based off an offset but we can see that the oddball one is completely completely different so those are the ones I like to try first doesn't always work out that way but most of the time it does so let's stand back up and see if this gives us infinite health so we're going to take a few hits right, and take a look at our health alrighty looks like we found her fellas Good. So we don't need these two because those are just display values. So what I want to do now is I'm going to keep that ticked on. I want to find out what's accessing it. But I only want codes that I'm going to, that's only being accessed or being written to when I'm being hit. You see these ones here that are constantly being accessed just over and over and over again? Well, in this particular method that I'm teaching today, you don't want to use those if you can help it. I ain't saying it won't work you using it on those it's just a little bit harder so let's only use where when it's actually being hit so those are the ones we want to take a look at and you see there's those four popped up when we were hit and it's only when we're hit and that's what we want so we can go ahead and stop that and the first thing I like to do is look at what's writing to it remember whatever is on the right side of the comma is affecting what's on the left side of the comma we see the instruction is a move SS that's for the XMM registries and it's moving a uh, float value into our address of RCX plus 18 well this is where it gets real important we're gonna need this here in just a minute this is our health we know that this is our health we see the base registry down here is holding our base address for our guy and yeah I like to go into the dissect data and all that mess I'm not doing that here because this is not what we're doing we're not actually looking for a compare this time what we're doing is what we did in shadow of war is we're taking each of our values that we want for us and we're moving back in the call structure we're going back up the tree to where we can separate them on their own separate limbs and that way we don't have to use a compare so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy that down. We're going to go show that in the disassembler. And we know this is going to be a shared opcode, but we want to see with what. And we're going to need this also in a few minutes for a few other values. So once we find health, then we can concentrate on the others. Let's put that on the float. Let's go take a few hits. Alright, so we see that two are being shared, and one of these is my stamina, so we know one of those is our health address, and that's the one we want for right now. I hadn't really hit enemies, but for right now, it don't matter. So, we know that the one in ending in D8 is our health, so that's good. So, we can go ahead and stop that for the time being. We've already copied down our base address. We know that this is not accessed until we are hit. But it is a shared opcode, so we still need to put a break and trace condition on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to right click it. We're going to break and trace instructions. We're going to go ahead and tick these on where it uh, 
saves the stacks snapshots and we're also going to skip over any irrelevant calls go ahead and click OK now let's go over here to our memory viewer or we'll match control B to bring up our breakpoint list or you can also go over here to view and do it manually we'll right click on it we're going to set and change condition remember our base registry was RCX so we need to do this in Lua format we'll do RCX is equal to OX and then our base address just like that that's our base address so we'll say OK and it will only break it will only do the break and trace when our guy is hit by a bullet and that's what we want so let's bring up our break and trace screen just so we can take a look at it and just go ahead and take a hit and there it goes now we're just going to kind of go somewhere out of the way Let's just go hide somewhere where they can't see us anymore. There we go. All right. So now we got our health call structure. Okay. Now this is what our health goes through. In a few minutes, you're going to see we're going to use the same method for stamina. We're going to use the same method for breath underwater. And you will see, because I'm going to leave this up, that the call structures start branching off when it goes back in their call structures. And just to remind everybody, this is the call structure it went down when our health was affected. It started here, and went down and hit a call, then it up to here, and it read that and hit a call, and all the way down till it got to here, and hit a call, excuse me, I'm sorry, went all the way down to where it writes to our health, and what it keeps doing is it goes all the way on down the list till it hits a return, then it starts moving back up the tree from whence it came it's the return and then it keeps going back like that so that's what we're going to do and we can see here our value 100 and in a few minutes we're going to need to turn our health off from cheat engine writing to it because we need to see if it's actually preventing us from losing health so the first thing I want to do I want to go down here and I'm just going to go up the tree to the very first one or the very first call that it goes back on and it brings us here I'm going to move that for a second and here's the call that it hit to go down this particular structure right here there's the call so we know if we go anywhere above the call we're going to go back in time so the first thing we like to try is select the current function we want to go all the way up to the beginning of that call structure and what we do is we control C to copy that and we place a return on it same thing we did same exact method we did in the Shadow of War series so let's go ahead and click yes so we can knock out the access bytes so we don't lose them and now let's make sure that our health is off and we want to monitor that if we start losing health, we'll need to go farther back. But we also need to make sure that other things aren't being affected. So it's a test process. Take a look. Look how many times we're being hit. We know we turn that off and we're not taking any damage. Can the enemy still be hit? enemies did die take a look so we know enemies are not on that branch of the tree that we're on right now all right so for right now that's a pretty good one and we're going to keep it like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore it back to what it previously was putting the opcode back in it press OK and press no and that'll just restore everything back to the way it was and we're going to go ahead and put a script on this uh, I need to show you this too. I'm sorry, I forgot. Let's put that back the way it was. Click yes to drop out the access byte. And this is what you want to remember because this is what we're going to be changing in the array of bytes. We're going to do a direct scan and we're just going to have it go here. We're not going to allocate memory for it. We're just going to have it set a return and knock out these access bytes. So that's what we're going to do. So you see C3 is the equivalent of a return and 90 is the equivalent of a knock. That's how the computer will recognize 
the instructions C3 return 90 knob so let's go ahead and restore it just like that click no and let's go ahead and do our auto assemble AOB injection and we're going to put help one let it do its scans there we go and we're going to take all this stuff out we're not going to allocate any memory for it we're going to take these out and we're going to cut and paste that up here take out the deallocate mem and take out all this mess too we don't need that and what we want to do is we see how many there were this is the instruction right here and we need the C3 and we need four knots. So that's what we're going to do. DB90. Oops, I'm sorry. C3. 90909090. And we can also make sure over here. Here's our here's our thing, or here's our opcode we need to knock out. Here's the bytes of it. So C3 and four knots, just like that. So we can assign that to the current cheat table. We want to take a look at it. Bring cheat engine back over here. We're going to go ahead and put uh, health test. We're just testing these right now. We may have to go back further in the tree later. We don't know yet. But we know enemies aren't being affected. But is it affecting anything else with us? I don't know. So first off, let's just test it and make sure it puts the return and the four knobs. And return and four knobs. Does it change it back? And there we go so it's working good normally we'd save our work I've already got this done I don't want to save over what I've already got so let's go back make sure our code is working what we're going to do now the only thing about this is if you've lost health it's not going to restore it. it's just going to freeze you right where you are so keep that in mind too so you know it's not the best way to do it but you know it's a way you can possibly do it all right, so let's take a look. Well, let's just test that through. Let's take some damage, turn it on. We know we're not going to get hit when we turn it on, or we're not going to take any damage. Okay, we okay, we took some damage, so now let's turn our health on. And we're not going down anymore. Can we heal up? And we do heal, so we know a different opcode is being accessed when we heal. So this does give us infinite health, and we can fill up our health as needed. We could possibly go find where it does that and do it automatically and put it with this code, but I'm not doing that. This is purely to show you another method you can use besides comparing. So we got infinite health. They can sit here and hit me all day. All right. So we're just going to go back over here, away from them, and we're going to find something else. We're going to find our stamina. You see us running? Well, eventually he runs out of breath, and we're going to find that. So what we want to do is we want we can go ahead and leave that on, and let's go back to our shared opcode. We're going to put this over to the side because I want to show you something here in a minute. We know that's our health, so we're going to put this back on it, and what you won't see here is you will not see our health anymore even when we get hit because it's not going through that call structure anymore it's only going up to a certain point it's only going up to the beginning of this function so all these others is still being accessed however this one and this one are not anymore by our health so even getting hit you'll never see our health address here anymore does that make sense to everybody all right so let's see if we can find stamina now so what i'm gonna do is run and there's our stamina see that when I run it goes all the way down so that means that our stamina is not going through our health call structure it's going through its own call structure so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring that over we can see that it's 18 for the offset ah crap I brought the wrong one up there we go okay here's our stamina right here and we can do it two ways. We can either, you know, put another debugger on it or we can just copy down the address, put it in our hex calculator, 
and minus 18 doll set and that gives us our base address so control C come back to it let's make sure we pause the game we don't want it breaking on some other value and what we're going to do now is we're going to pop another break and trace on here and we know that this is going to be for our stamina so go back to here control B there it is right down here and now we're going to put a condition on this one we know that RCX is the registry holding our base address and we're going to do the exact same thing RCX is equal to OX and our base stamina address so there we go so only when we run will it break so if I'm walking nothing see that and if I get hit nothing that's that's the purpose of a conditional breaking trace so now I'm gonna start to run and you'll see it break so watch here I go boom see that and it's still going boom all right and this is when it's taking away from our stamina this is the call structure it's going through so what I want to do is do the same and there's our value and what I want to do is the exact same thing this is what I want you to see okay they're all going through that opcode that's writing to them however they're going through separate areas to get to that writing value and I want to show you this is real interesting all right so let's start at the top and let's take a look everything is the same for stamina everything is the same for health but the land that they came from are totally different take a look they came from two different sections you see that right here and right here that's where they branch off you can go to the return and they each branched off from a different area a different branch of the tree and this would went off this branch so they're not going together that's why you saw and that's the same thing uh, with enemies that I tried to show you in the Shadow of War video uh, somewhere down the tree they branch off somewhere and they're not going through the same call structures and that's what you're wanting to find a lot of the time okay so that's what I wanted to show you and you'll see also our breath is going through its own limb our enemies are going through their own limb we haven't hit an enemy that's why you hadn't seen an enemy pop up so we want to do the same thing here we may have to go further back I don't know but that's stamina's only limb right there so let's go back to this and this carries us to where it was going to continue off when it hit the return so right above it should be a call and there it is now we can either knock out that call or we can go to the beginning or we can possibly jump over the call there's all kind of ways you can do this but like I say we like trying this first control C R E T yes we want to knock out the remaining bytes so we only have one remaining byte so you'll see three and a nine zero and let's see if that gives us infinite stamina we're going to run around and that 100 should not go down so let's do that take a look I'm running I'm going to walk now I'm going to run and our stamina is not going down and our health is different so we found two areas in memory they're all going through the same shared opcode, but we found two other errors in memory where they separate from each other. And we did not have to compare them out with each other. Or it gets really messy, especially when a lot of your attributes are going through the same opcode. And that helps us out. So we can do the exact same thing we did for health. Let's go ahead and restore that to the back. Okay, sorry about that. I went ahead and I just shut the game down and I re-brought it back up. Something else I wanted to show you too is why I went ahead and started it here instead of just picking it where I left off. We still have not wrote the script for our stamina yet, and here it is. But one good thing about the breaking trace is you can close the game down and bring it back up. Let's go ahead and reattach it and keep the current code list. So you can see this is a brand new game. The one good thing about our breaking traces, if you accidentally crash it down or it crashes down on you when you're trying these things, you can pick up. It, most of the time, it allows you to pick up where you left off. So let's go back to our memory viewer. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, our health back on because we're going to be shot at a lot. Here's our memory viewer. There we go. 
and where we need to go to is we want to go back to that right there and take a look it just lets us pick up right where we left off select the current function there we go there we are so we saw that did work for our stamina and I'm not going to go through and do the breath underwater because it's the exact same way if I bring up I go back to where it's writing put the debugger on it to show the addresses it'll show us that it's 100 and we do it the exact same way then you can compare all three and see that they're on there all three of them are coming from different branches and we got lucky because they branched off right after that writing function or right where it writes to those values and they branched off immediately a lot of times you'll have to go back further to find these things and sometimes other things are going uh, down with it and it gets a little harder to find but but for this game it was really easy we're just going to go ahead and write our stamina health and we're just going to call it from there I think most of you got the point of this lesson it'll really help you out when you're having trouble you got a bunch of attributes that you need or or even allies you know that you need to compare out versus your enemies or stuff this is another method you can possibly try may not work for you all the time but it is another method you can try and that's basically what we need to do here so basically all we need to do is uh, to replace this we can either put it out like that but I like doing it the other way and just get rid of this mess so we don't have to allocate memory let's make sure we don't get rid of our label of stamina we can just take that out let's cut we can replace the alloc with the register symbol take out this alloc get rid of irrelevant stuff and you see here here's a snapshot of the code we need to modify we're going to place a return here and we're going to knock that byte there so c390 is all we need so define byte or declare byte c390 that's it and it will restore it to the original bytes when we turn it off so let's go ahead and add that to the current cheat table let's name that uh, stamina test and right about here is where you want to save your work I'm not going to do that because I've already got these codes and let's just make sure it's working correctly so let's go ahead and turn that on there's not and it restores it back to the way it was so now we have health and stamina when we turn that on and they are not going through the complete call structure they're stopping when they get to here and they move no further it just sends them back up the tree that's what it does because we put a return there and it's just going back up the tree and it's never writing to it so let's go ahead and close that on out and like I say I'm not going to do it for breath underwater because it's done the exact same way all three of them you can do the exact same way they all branch off at the exact same spots like that to their own separate branches and we can go take a look Our stamina is not going out and I'm just going to sit there and be a martyr take a look no health is coming off and we're just an invincible machine right now. And I can't seem to hit him, so. There we go. Let's grab his rifle. And we can have a blast. <laughs> I love this game. And if I had my infinite ammo code, we wouldn't need to do that, but I hadn't got it turned on, so. But you get the point, and I just wanted to show you that, and hopefully this can help you out when you get a hold of those different op codes, and you're having to do a lot of comparing out, and these things are switching on you all the time, and it's just a pain in the butt to do that. Uh, you can try this method, because if you go further, you know, further back on the tree, a lot of times you'll find where these things are branching off and it won't crash your game or not really affecting anything else but that intended value you're wanting to basically knock out and this is the same thing as knocking it out in another sense so you know it has the same type of effect all right but that's all with this go around 
I hope you got something out of it. I appreciate all you guys' support and coming out here, taking a look, and I hope you're learning. You're learning with me. I'm learning this stuff, and I, I show you what I learn as I learn it. Come join us over at the Facebook channel. we got a bunch of game hackers that hang out there. They'll be happy to help you if they can answer your questions. We will not go into online games. However, if the values are stored on your own computer, then these same methods will work for those type games. That's that's the online game's problem for not putting them server-sided. So, But if they are server-sided, uh, we're, we're just not going to help because we don't do that. So we teach you how to hack games yourselves. We're not really going to hack them for you. So when you ask your questions, ask them in regards to wanting to learn how to do this, not asking us to do it for you, because that's probably going to get it more. I apologize about that. We just don't have that kind of time on our hands. I wish I did. But. And also, I want to thank my partners that I'll put up on the screen now. These guys donated to the Patreon. They're help funding the site. And uh, any help that anybody can give, I'd really appreciate it. Come check out the Patreon. We're going to have contests and things like that in the future. And uh, these guys that donate to the Patreon, they're going to get more names in the pot for them. So I just want you to know that. And also, uh, I want to mention our website that will be at cheatthegame.net. It's not up as of yet, but it will be shortly. Uh, we got a little setback on that, but hopefully we'll have that up and running very, very soon. And I'll keep you guys updated on that. So we're real excited about that. All right, well, that's all I got time for today, guys. You all take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please, enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care now. Better some hacking.